welcome back to another video about AWS Cloud Computing. And now in this video, I'm going to explain the process of accessing a Bastion host from a Windows machine. So the first thing we want to do is to go and search for PuTTY, a software that we need to download to our computer. Now, then we need to install PuTTY. And the process of installation, just click next, 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 and then finish. Then we want to go and open PuTTY just to see if it is working in a proper way. Now go back to AWS and copy the public IP address of your Bastion host. Now, if you notice that this Bastion host is using a key pair name called VOC key. Now this for the people who are using the Vocarium Labs in the AWS Academy. You need to go to the AWS details and download a PPK file. Now go back to your PuTTY and put the username EC2 user at the public IP of the Bastion host or of the EC2 instance that you want to connect to. Then go to connection, increase the keep alive, just basically to keep the session alive for 30 seconds if you are away. And in the auth now, we go to browse and get the PBK file that we just download to our download folder. Click open and now click accept. And you are now connected to the Bastion host. So this is the process that we normally use to access any EC2 machine with a public IP address from a potty in Windows. Now, if we want to access a private instance, which is in a private subnet, similar to what we have in the Capstone project, what we need to do. The process is very simple. We need to get, again, the Vocarium key or the PPK file for that EC2. And you notice here that the web server and the Bastion host both use the same key. Then we need to go to our project and download the key. If you did not download the key before or in a previous step, you could go back to the AWS details and download the key. Once we have the key downloaded to our computer, now we need to go to pAgent, a software that should be installed by uh, the tool potty and we open it it will appear to the lower right corner beside the time in your machine now the process to connect to the private web server will be simply done by configuring what we call ssh pass through so right click on the p agent add a key and then select the lab user ppk file now then go to potty and now from potty we want to get the ip address of the bastion host first because this is the only uh, ec2 instance with a public ip address that we can access then we will put ec2 user at the public ip address you could also save that session so you don't need to keep configure it every time you open potty then go to ssh now, this time we're not going to select the PPK file from here, only we need to allow agent forwarding. So check that, and now this will allow the P agent to pass the keys to the potty session and you will be able to connect to the Bastion host. Now, the next step is to access the web server, which basically has only a private IP address. We need to go and copy the private IP address of the web server. Then we go to the potty session and we put the command ssh ec2 user at the private IP of the web server in the private subnet and click enter. Now you'll notice here that this is not going to work. Why? Because if you go to that web server and you check the security group, you will find that we never open the SSH traffic to arrive to this AC2 instance. So we want to uh, basically create and add a new rule 
and then we will only allow the traffic to come from the bastion host to add an extra layer of security to our private EC2 instances in the AWS cloud. Now press Control C and now repeat the command again and you will be able to connect successfully to your private instance. You could do LS and you could do many things here. Thank you for seeing this video and see you in the next one.